Hey guys, how you doing? Steph here. So what's wrong with college? College, as it relates to learning how to code, how to become a developer, is this something you should pursue today? Or maybe you shouldn't pursue it? What's the problems that people are starting to identify about college? Well, the problems with college go way beyond just coding. Now, not all colleges are created equal and not all teachers or professors in the colleges are created equal as well. Some are good, some are bad, and it has nothing to do whether or not the school in question is Ivy League or not. It really doesn't. At the end of the day, it actually just comes down to the teacher. So a few things you got to understand about the software development game. It is a very much a boots on the ground, rubber meets the road type of profession, meaning employers will see immediately whether or not you are competent or capable. There's no guessing work about it. So whether you're from some Ivy League or from some, or from some other college, for many, many businesses out there, I would say the vast majority, your, where you get your degree is less important than what you can demonstrate in terms of skills. Not just technical skills, by the way. What a lot of people don't understand about development, you have to also have to have, you also have to have very good communication skills because software development by its very nature is complex. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people you got to speak to. You got to be able to communicate with them in an, in an agreeable manner and in a, in a succinct, clear manner. So being able to speak clearly, communicate clearly is very, very important. So having good communication skills is a big part of being a great developer, believe it or not. But anyway, back to colleges. So whether or not it's worth it depends on a few things. A, do you want to work for large organizations? If you do, then the need for college increases because although it is dropping quite a bit, the need for a degree to get a job working for a large corporation, it's still out there, but it is dropping quite a bit. Depends where you happen to live in the world. So number two, if you want to work for a small or medium-sized business, then the, deg the degree is worth less, less, and less, and less, and less. Any type of certification, really, whether it be a college degree or a boot camp certification, or whatever. And finally, if you want to open up your own business or you want to freelance, then the college education degree is pretty much worthless in terms of credentials. You see, we live in a golden age these days where we have access to unlimited information, top flight teachers without having to go to a prestigious college or any college. One of the big advantages of the universities back in the day were the libraries were their libraries. A particular school would have a famous library. People would go to particular colleges just to access the library. This is the tradition. But with with the internet, with Google and now ChatGPT and Grok and other AI out there, that is basically a thing of the past. For many, many programs, the value that college brings is A, the certification in the cases where they're valuable, like you know, medical doctor, nurse, a lawyer, accountant, in areas where uh, government has intervened or trade unions have intervened and said, well, you got to be accredited, you got to be certified before you can actually uh, practice the profession. Thank God software development it doesn't have that. And the reason it doesn't have that is because, again, it's very obvious very quickly whether or not you are competent as a developer. Accreditation, uh, that piece of paper is becoming less and less, less and less valuable overall. I would say 80, maybe even 90% of the programs in university, uh, they don't have much financial value these days. So, for example, anthropology. I would highly advise against paying any money or any significant money uh, to get an anthropology degree. Not that there's anything wrong with anthropology. In fact, I did an anthropology class as an elective, and it was actually quite valuable in terms of my overall understanding of, of reality in the world, and I'm glad I took that class. Was it worth the, uh, the hundreds and hundreds of dollars that I had to pay to access that class? I don't know. Would having an anthropology degree be worth it? No. <laughs> no. no. It's, if you're going to do any of those type of degrees, the arts and so on, you take those if you uh, come from a very wealthy family, you got time to burn, and you just want to do it to expand your mind. But you don't, you don't have to do it in college. You could do it at home. You know, there's 
plenty of lectures online and great books you can get. So you can learn everything you need to learn about anthropology, joint anthropology, uh, Discord servers, I'm sure they're out there, uh, Reddit, uh, subreddits on anthropology, and you get out everything you need. You don't need to go to school because the piece of paper, the degree, the credentials that the university provides is worthless in anthropology, pretty much. Um, and the universities no longer have the monopoly on all this information. It's all out there. So yeah, anthropology, I'm not picking on it. Again, I think it's a worthwhile subject to, to poke into, but it wouldn't be something I would uh, spend four years pursuing and getting a degree unless I was, you know, I didn't need money, you know? So back to coding and development. Again, if you're going to work for large organizations, yes, that credential could come in handy. But on the other hand, if you're highly skilled and you can demonstrate it, you can get into uh, even companies that demand credentials. There's a lot of them will say, oh, you know what? This person, look what they've done. Look at her. They don't have the, the credential, but look what they've done. And it's not just my opinion. Google has said a few years ago, said, if you want to become a software developer, do not go to university. That's Google. Uh, you can get up to speed and get into software development as a professional working part-time within six to uh, 12 months, working part-time. I have a program, a mentoring program, you work at your pace. I have people who had gotten jobs from zero in three, four months. Uh, some people would take more than a year. It depends on how much time you put into it. If you put 20 minutes a day or three hours a day, you know, you'll get there more or less quickly, depending. But you can get the job. There is a route to um, getting a job as a developer without having a degree. People in my program have gotten work working for big multinationals. All they care about, what they care about most rather is your skills. That's it, man. The credential doesn't matter because a credential doesn't write the code. It's uh, your skills that writes the code. So the other problem with college in the context of development, software development, is that there is a huge cost, not just the financial cost, in the States could be a huge financial cost, tens of thousands a year. But even if it's free, there's a huge cost in terms of what they call opportunity cost, meaning for whatever reasons, from, for some magical reason, have you noticed that many, many university programs are all about four years? For some reason, they all take the same amount of time. You're going to have a anthropology, you're going to have uh, religious studies, you're going to have computer science, computer engineering, for some reason, it all takes about the same amount of time to complete. <laughs> totally different fields. That doesn't make any sense, right? From a point of view of knowledge, it doesn't make any sense, but there maybe there's another reason why it all takes four years. But you can, uh, you can figure that out for yourself. Anyway, the opportunity cost is that you're going to be spending three, four years to get this degree, to complete the degree, when if you went with a, an independent program, self-paced program, like my own, full disclosure, I do offer a bootcamp slash mentoring program, so I am biased. That said, you know, people in my program, like I said, some people have gotten a, a job within four or five months. So what's the opportunity cost? Let's say we'll push it out. It takes you a year to get a job, your first job, entry-level job as a developer uh, through a program like mine. Whereas the other guy is gone or the girl has gone to school and she and they're doing four years. Four years and they're paying, we'll say costing them ten thousand dollars a year. You know, we'll keep it cheap. Four years passes, you get your degree, you're in the hole for 40 grand, just money out of pocket, plus the three years that the other person, remember, they got their job after one year. So they've been working for three years. And the salaries jump up quite a bit within the first three, three years. So what's going to happen? I've done the math in other videos. You having gone to college will be behind the non-college graduate uh, maybe about $200,000, $250,000 in uh, money and earnings. You'll jump in and then you're going to be entry level and you'll, you'll catch up. But it, you, may, you probably never will catch up unless you're exceptional and the other person is not exceptional, meaning... They're already so ahead of you because they've been making all about that money those three extra years and you've been spending that money. You've been spending money. It's going to be hard to recover uh, that difference. So I hope that makes sense. So whether you go to college, again, I tell people, if you're going to go into debt, don't do it, especially if you want to get into software. If you're going to do freelance, start your own business, don't even think about it. 
It's a total waste of time and money. So the only reason to go to college for software development is because you want to work at some very large organizations where right now they will prefer candidates with a degree. But I can tell you, all the trends show, are showing now that this is disappearing. Um, it could be within 10 years, this is going to be totally gone. I don't know. It's hard to predict the future. But you see that trend. When big players like Google says, don't learn to code, just don't go to college to learn to code, learn to code and program and get coding within nine months, get a job. That tells you a lot. There you have it. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I train people in software development, in personal finance, uh, small business, freelancing, all these types of things. Everything I teach, by the way, is based out of personal experience. Personal experience. I don't jump into subjects that are, I only have an academic knowledge. The significance of that is that you know that my teachings are real. What I teach works. All right. If you have any questions or comments or disagreements about the contents of this video, let me know. Comment below. Again, not all colleges are bad and not all teachers are bad, but there's a lot of them that are bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of bad. I would, again, argue for maybe 80% of the, uh, of the programs out there, uh, it's no point going to college. You're just wasting your time and your money in terms of financial return. I, I said, again, using anthropology as an example, somebody be learned to, from anthropology. Are you going to make money with it? No. But is somebody be to learn from it? So if you're not going to make money with it, why would you go into debt and spend years? No. Especially since the knowledge is all out there. One last thing about college that used to always rub my rhubarb the wrong way. It would rub my rhubarb the wrong way. In that they create all these artificial requirements and silly, silly Curriculum filler, as I call it, for no good reason. Well, they want to, I guess they want to sell courses. I don't know. You would have to ask. Well, actually, I'll tell you why. I know people who are professors. They tell me why in a lot of the programs they have X, this course and that course and then the other course. Well, because you have a tenured professor who's been teaching, I don't know, Cal 2 for 15 years or 20 years, and he wants to teach it, and that's it. He's going to teach it no matter what. Whether or not the students need Cal 2 is irrelevant. Teacher wants to teach it, ah, it's a requirement. That's simple as that. Simple as that. Also, they just they want you to have uh, pay a certain amount of money to get your degree, right? It's interesting how the high-paying jobs like the uh, medical doctor and the uh, dentist, those degrees cost a lot more than the uh, less-paying jobs, if you can ever find them, like the philosophy degree and the uh, anthropology degree. And there's a reason for that, because they know you're going to pay the extra money because, you know, Dentists make a lot of money. So there's a lot of filler content and a lot of, you know, filler. And I can tell you, I've been in development for three decades. For example, all these programs, these, you require that you have advanced math to get in. It's the stupidest thing ever. 99% of development has nothing to do with math. I know, I've been in it for three decades. 90, not all, but 99%, I would say. So why make math a requirement for such a highly specialized need, you know? Very few coding jobs require anything beyond basic, basic math. Uh, another thing they get into, they get into abstraction of algorithms and data structures. You should just know the very basics of it, that's all. But they go super deep. That's academics for you. They go off on these tangents, but don't really reflect what's needed in the real world. I can tell you, I have many friends who are engineers and they've told me that they didn't learn anything about what their real job was about in school. One guy told me, he was at one of the most prestigious universities in North America. He said, you know, I just, we just learned how to cheat. We just learned how to cheat very well. Nothing in the program, in the curriculum, reflected anything in terms of his job and his career. He's retired since now, but, you know, yeah, that's the way it is. All right. Cheers. Bye.